Hey, what's going on guys? Joe Burgess. Welcome to my channel again. Uh, today I'm going to be going over a little topic I was talking about yesterday as far as, uh, as, uh, as air conditioning is concerned. I wasn't sure on this hybrid. It's a Ford, it's a Ford Fusion hybrid. Um, and I was just curious to see what the, um, type of refrigerant this car uses. So, um, I checked the tag here. On all cars, it's usually going to have the tag either here. Um, sometimes, sometimes they have them up here or in various places. But uh, in this case, it's uh, right over here. So to my pleasant surprise, um, it uses R134A, which is typically used a lot nowadays for um, all different types of cars. Uh, some. Some cars actually, some cars actually um, require a different type. Um, and certain Toyotas, uh, stuff like that, and the new ones. Um, you know, I was just checking it out in here because uh, I wasn't quite sure. We're not dealing with, um, uh, you know, the AC running bad or anything like that. But um, I just want to see what I was up against, and to my surprise. Uh, it's looking pretty good. We can, we can actually, um, we can actually charge this thing up if we, if need be, or we can, we can recover it. You know, so we can, um, we can do those things uh, like you would normal, normal, uh, no, normal uh, refrigerant. So uh, instead of using something um, that you'd have to go to a dealer for, but uh, you know, as you guys know, hybrids are very. Uh, very can be very scary um, you know all you guys all you guys um, who are not sure about hybrids uh, they can be very dangerous it's DC current so um, you know you guys want to be real careful in here because um, those orange wires can produce 400 or more volts in a DC current so you guys are you guys you guys are um, you know repairing these cars or making any types of um, Repair, you know, any 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 types of uh, adjustments, repairs, and anything like that. Uh, you want to be really careful because uh, these cars are very, very um, 